from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, I'm student meteorologist Chris Landolfi with the Penn State Campus Weather Service. Let's start by taking a live look over Beaver Stadium. Not a cloud in the sky right now, just some of those high cirrus clouds out right now. With the sun rising on Beaver Stadium, a chilly start to your morning. Temperatures only in the mid-20s. Now they will be warming up to the mid-40s for today, but right now throughout central Pennsylvania, mix of 20s and 30s. And if we look at the rest of the state, a similar story. A little warmer down in southeastern PA, 37 degrees in Philadelphia. Now our radar satellite shows not a lot of cloud cover throughout the state. There is some junk on the radar right now. That's not actually precipitation. That's just some mess, a screw up with the radar currently. But we see not a lot of cloud coverage, no precipitation throughout the state. Now our next chance for precipitation will come associated with a cold front that is currently in the Midwestern US. Now the rain associated with that cold front is just entering into Indiana. Now that'll be here not until tonight. The clouds will be increasing later today uh, and tonight. But what uh, one concern with that front is some wind gusts. We could get some higher wind gusts in the mid 20s uh, here in State College to the low 30s up in Erie. As that front rolls through, the winds do die down a little bit. The wind direction does also shift. And by Thursday, we'll see more of a northwesterly flow up in Erie. Now that is important because this is the time of year where we do get some lake effect activity as that cold air blows across the warm lakes. Uh, and that is a concern for your Thursday. Eastern PA does get in on some higher wind gusts in the mid 20s as well on Thursday and Friday. But we'll watch this front come through on our future weather. Now, as it makes its way into central Pennsylvania, it does weaken a little bit, but we still will see rain associated with that. Then on Thursday, this northwesterly wind brings some lake effect precipitation into mainly northwestern Pennsylvania, could dip down here in State College, but it will be pretty warm on Thursday, so I don't think most of that will fall as snow. Now, higher elevations could see some snow, but mainly that will fall as rain or a mix of winter precipitation. Here in State College, if we do see any precipitation from that, it will be rain possibly a wintry mix. Then for Friday, uh, we calm down with the precipitation. The lake effect machine takes a break uh, and we will not see precipitation for your Friday. Now for today, 46 degrees is the high, mostly sunny skies with clouds increasing as associated with that cold front. Now overnight, that's when the cold front comes through. We'll see showers throughout the night, but the clouds will keep the night rather mild with a low temperature of 40 degrees. Now, looking at your seven day forecast, Wednesday into Thursday, that's when we have that front. Thursday, we could see some isolated showers, first associated with the front, then associated with lake effect off of Erie. Friday looks to be a beautiful day, mostly sunny skies before we have a washout on Saturday as another cold front slides through. This cold front will bring a lot more rain as well as lower the temperatures. As we look into Sunday and Monday, temperatures only getting up to the mid to upper 30s. And we could see some actual lake flakes this time as temperatures will be colder and we will once again have a northwesterly wind. Now, the beginning of next week, Monday into Tuesday, we will see temperatures rebound into more seasonable levels. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Chris Landolfi. Thanks for watching.